caution. When performing the following procedures, please ensure the printer is switched off and isolated. Remove the air filters from their holders. The filters are located in various areas around the printer. Wash the air filters in tap water. Soak up the excess water using paper towels or allow the filters to dry. Remove the P1 processing rack and place into a tray. Be careful when pulling the rack as it is quite heavy. Take the rack in the tray to the sink and wash the rack using warm tap water. Remove the rack plates to gain access to and clean the rollers. Allow the excess water to drain off and then carefully reinstall the P1 rack. Repeat the process for all the other racks except P2, bleach. Install the contamination guard over the P1 rack and open the replenisher box door.
turn the filter holder 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Remove the circulation filter from the holder and replace with a new one. Reinstall the filter by placing the holder into the port and turning 90 degrees clockwise. Remove number 1 to number 3 crossover racks. Clean the wash jets with deionized water. Use a soft toothbrush to remove any clogging. Remove the dryer entrance rack and clean the nozzles along the black tubes. Use a soft cloth to remove any crystals. Open the magazine door and pull the lock release lever to remove the cover. Rotate the rollers using the winding knobs for cleaning upper and lower rollers. Open the drawer unit by releasing the lock and support it using the green stopper. Open the lower section cover and clean the rollers and surfaces using a damp cloth. Repeat the process for the upper section of the dryer unit. Remove the sorter unit and open the dryer rack cover with the stopper. Wipe the mesh belt using a damp cloth. Wind the belt on and repeat until it is clean. Wipe any dirt off the white rollers using a damp cloth.
Remove the filter holder and wipe away any dust. When fitting the new filter, write the date that it was replaced.